Today we're in the Yorkshire Dales, a place called West Burton, about eight miles far side of Leyburn. We're going to walk from West Burton down to Aysgarth Falls and make it around. We're going up into the village now to start our walk. We'll be back to you. As we make our way up the village, we look to the left hand side and we can see some waterfalls. So we just jump out the car and uh, take a quick shot. There's the setting, it's been snowing overnight. I think that'll just help us with the light. We'll just have a quick look up the village before we start. We're gonna park on the left. You have a butcher's shop on your right hand side. So we've just parked at the side of the road, free parking. Just taking a little look down the village. We'll be coming back up there later on, so we can maybe show you a bit more later. And you've just got like a bit of a play park and somewhere to sit here, look. And we just walk forward, following the road. On our left hand side, we've got the Fox and Hounds and the village shop and tea rooms down the little road there heading towards Aysgarth. We just head forward down the village looking for our turn for Aysgarth. You'll meet the brow of a hill and as it drops away a hundred yards on your left hand side you'll see your signpost. We turn left there through the gate and between the houses. Signpost says Eshington Bridge. So we're just going down a narrow track towards the road now. When you get down to the road, look to your right hand side, 20 feet in front of you at the other side, you'll see the signpost. We go through the gate and head forward across the field. Just before we go through the gate, let's just take a quick shot up the valley, look. As you can see, there's been quite a bit of snow, but uh, I think that just makes it look a bit better sometimes. Got a farm down below here, look. I think we've a farmer just gone into sheds there to tend his cattle. And we're just more or less heading forward towards that barn in front of you. And there's... I think that's farm lad there, look, just coming in. We make our way to the barn, straight through the gate, head forward. We've got a line of telegraph poles on our left hand side and just to the right of there we can see the gate in front of us. And at the back you can see another barn. As we walk across the field we look to our left hand side and take a quick shot up the valley. As we make our way towards the gate, we look to our left hand side and we've got the river there. We go forward a hundred feet through a wall and then turn immediate right. As you turn right, walk across the field and head towards the wall at the other side. You'll see a marker and a tree in the distance over the styling, just keep going. You're walking with a taxi driver today. We cross over the stile near the tree. We head forward, river on our left hand side. We're going towards the road now. As we head across the field, we look to our left hand side and we see a couple of barns there, look. And we think that'd be a great shot, so here it is. We make our way to the end of the field. We go through the wall and we turn left here. Walk up the road 50 yards, cross over the bridge. We're on top of the bridge now. We just keep bearing slightly right, looking for a left-hand turn. Walk round the bend 50 feet. You'll see a tiny little gate at the side of a big tree. Signpost there says Palmer Flats, but I can't seem to capture it on my camera today. So we've gone through the gate. We're heading slightly uphill towards the barn and the trees. We're heading towards the church now. 
we've walked past the first barn over the stile into the next field you'll see another barn then there's a big tree and just to your right hand side you've got another gate so we go through there and walk slightly forward uphill following the wall at the far side I think but we'll be back to you before I move off I thought I'd just give you a quick shot to our right hand side it looks pretty good with snow down it really does and this is the beginning of February so we've made our way into the next field we look to our left hand side and take a quick shot of these sheep they're just grazing away they just keep clearing the snow with a foot for the grass underneath we just make our way up to the top of the field keep into the wall gate in front of us and arrow facing straight forward there's a couple of houses on our left hand side so we've gone through the gate at the top of the field down a dip over the stile and back up the other side through the gate there's a house on our left so we just head towards the houses we come to the road and cross straight over reading towards Aysgarth we've crossed over the road head forward a couple hundred yards down in front of us we've got the churchyard when we get to the church turn immediate left to the road where that car is turn right and we're going down to have a look at the falls now we're heading down towards the bridge now on your right hand side you've got the water race because this used to be an old mill and as we get down to the bridge we see we've got the mill race tea shop just a bit further up you've got the visitor centre and car park at the other side of the bridge slightly going uphill and at the side of the tea shop we've got a little craft shop there as well and here we are we've got Aysgarth Falls this is the upper falls and if you look over the bridge where that car is we can turn left there and walk up the other side and go and get a better view so that's what we're going to do as we make our way up to the higher falls we see there's a bit of a picnic area here with tables and this would be a great spot in summer with this well here we are we're on the top now just taking a quick shot it looks quite good with the snow in the trees and you know on the ground it and we just take a quick shot from the front there look we make our way back to the bridge go across the front of the tea rooms between the two buildings between the old mill and that takes you up to the church we cross over the old mill race there look and uh, the church is called St Andrews we're steadily heading up towards it so we're back at the church now as soon as you make your way into the churchyard look immediately left and you'll see a tiny gate with a yellow arrow we go through there and walk to the left hand side of the gravestones we're heading forward now with the river on our left hand side let's see what we can find as we walk through we notice we've got four lovely bunches of uh, snowdrops peering up through the snow we make our way to the end of the church and then turn immediate left we're going down towards the river now so we just follow the little path through the churchyard through the gate up the hill to the wood at the other side walk through the wood we're out into open fields now tiny bit of sunshine in the distance we're heading forward we've got the river down below on our left and there's just a fair bit of breeze on it's a bit chilly we're just down on the river now you can see the snow on the bank on your left we'll soon be stopping for a cup of tea it's quite relaxing I don't think there's nowhere better that last shot was looking back up the river now we're looking forward and we can hear there's quite a big waterfall in front of us here we are this is the source of all the noise
And as you can see, the water's flowing pretty fast in uh, a lot of white water, but it's fairly clean. There's two or three people at the other side, four people at the other side. We'll just keep slowly panning round and uh, hopefully you can hear the roar of the water there, so I hope you can hear me. It's going over the edge, you can just see the bit of spray there, look, coming up. And this is just a nice place to have a cup of tea and a little break. Well, we'll make that do. We'll just keep heading forward and make our way back onto the top again. Just got a slight bit of breeze today, but it's still a great day. We're just heading forward and we're just showing the hills at the far side, all covered in snow. We've got a little gap in the trees at the moment. So we thought we'd take a quick shot. And you can see we're following the path down near the river through the trees there now. As you can see, there's plenty of waterfalls. Very noisy. And as we look there in the middle of the river, we can see an uprooted tree. We just keep following the path till it comes out onto the road. At the road, you turn left over the bridge. We're looking for a left turn now towards the stepping stones. Just head forward a hundred yards and on the bend, there's a left turn there, footpath sign. We're going into the field and we'll be heading towards the barn there, look. Four in the river. Just before you turn left into the field, look straight forward and you'll see an old AA box, number 442. So, as we go into the field, we walk to the right-hand side of the barn. We've got the river down below, just at the side of the barn. We take a shot of these sheep feeding on hay. We're heading towards a tiny wood now. We've just come through the tiny wood and we're still following the river, heading towards the stepping stones. Well, we've made our way to the stepping stones. In summer, you'd easily go across there, but uh, middle of February, no way. But it's very nice location. At the stepping stones, we turn 180 degrees and we look back on our cell. And there we've got the track that leads towards the road. So we head up there. We're on our way back to West Burton now. We just keep following the wall. You've got a barn on your right hand side. As we walk up the track, we look over to the barn in the small building and we see some movement, so let's have a look. We've got ourselves a horse with a white face there. He probably is a white one anyway. He's got his coat on in this weather. Oh well, we'll leave it at that. I think it's a long time since any vehicles have come down this track because this is about the fourth tree we've seen growing on the inside and that's a few years old is that one. We just keep heading towards the road just before we go through the gate. We look behind us because the horse has wandered over to the wall and when we look closely at the wall we see what looks like a tiny 
Shetland pony that we didn't know it's on the way up. We keep going. We're making our way forward another two or three hundred feet until we hit the road. As soon as we do, we're going to turn left and walk slightly uphill and then we'll be back to you. As you walk up the road, you'll see like a folly on your left hand side. Just opposite the folly, you'll see the signpost. So we turn right there just before the farm. As we go through the gate, we turn immediate right over the little stile. Signpost says Morpeth Gate, one mile. We just have a quick look to our left hand side before we walk any further. There's a path there going up into the woods, into the uh, Knights Templar. We walk across the field following the track for about five minutes you'll come to a gate and a wall in front of you we go through the gate and turn right heading towards the wood we go into the wood we're turning left we're not far off West Burton now just keep walking through the wood just only a short way there's a road dips off to your right hand side to go to the farm But we just keep following the wall through the gate at the end. Just keep heading forward, following the wall on your right hand side. We're heading towards the mill and the waterfall in West Burton now. Certainly dramatic with the snow, it looks a bit like the Alps here. It's great. Just keep going. We've just passed a barn on our right, we're like a broken lintel. We've won forward on our left hand side and you'll come to this barn with a little outbuilding with no roof on. When you get there look to the right hand side over the wall and slightly to your left hand side you've got West Burton. We walk to the end of the field till we meet a track we turn right there and here's something you don't see much of this day and age it looks like a washing line of moles. It's proof that the mole catcher's doing his job. Just keep walking down the hill and about 100 yards past where I showed you the moles. On your left hand side, you'll see a little track it says West Burton via Barrack Wood. You need to take that track. We're following a tiny little muddy path now, looking for a right turn. We just keep walking forward, following the fence line, till we see a stile in the fence. We turn right there and head down now towards the village. We've made our way down to the mill in the waterfall now. All we've got to do is go over the bridge, turn right, and that'll take us back up into the village. But before we do, we want to have a look at the waterfall. And here we are at West Burton at the waterfalls, just at back of the mill. We're just going to see if we can get a bit closer down the side. As you can see, the water, obviously when it's flooding, has carved a, like a cave underneath and there's water coming through it. It's about 10 foot tall. And there's the main fall on your right, right hand side, but when it's really flooding, it comes a lot further this way and you get right under the force. We've got plenty of seats on your left hand side. We're heading back towards the bridge now. Well, there's your mill there. We've got white water below. Looking over the bridge, heading towards West Burton. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Yorkshire Dales in February, in the snow. You've been walking with a taxi driver today. <laughs>